welcome to a supercharged Eden Gardens, Calcutta, for the final of the Five Nations Hero Cup. It's India against the West Indies. A magnificent occasion. The thunder flashes are going off. And let's see how the pitch is going to play. Here's Jeffrey Boycott. Well, the biggest concern for both teams is this pitch on the third day. Same pitch, but the grounds has done a magnificent job. Look at the cracks. He watered it yesterday, rolled it and rolled it. All these cracks have filled in. They're much smaller than they were in the second semi-final. They've really closed up. The bounce will be a little bit better because he's put the water on and rolled it. It still will be a low bounce look. There will be no high bounce. There'll be a bit of spin. The Indian spinners always turn it on anything. But I think the cost won't matter because West Indies will want to chase runs and I think India will want to bat first. Well, as usual, Jeffrey was absolutely spot on. As a flipped his lucky coin, it didn't work this time. The West Indies won the toss and they have put India into bat. So let's have a look at the two teams. Now, India have made a change. If you can hear me, that is. They have dropped Ancola and they play a second spinner in Raju. The West Indies team is made up with differences because they've got problems. Haynes is ill, Walsh is ill and Harper is still ill. Roland Holder and Kenneth Benjamin are in. Here is Ambrose. And there's India's first run. And that cheer will give you some indication of the noise that's going to greet every run that India will score in this innings, I dare say. Oh, my word. Manas Prabhakar, take that. As Ambrose comes back with his reply. And he has got him. Well, that's for the perfect repost. Curtly Ambrose really bent his back into that one. And Eden Gardens goes deathly quiet. Not surprising because India has lost their first wicket. And this is Kirkley Ambrose's uh, response. Prabhakar pushing at it uh, a little bit. He wanted to stop playing at it, but he couldn't get his bat away from the ball. And he's paid the penalty. So Prabhakar has gone. India have lost their first wicket. It's 25 for one. Oh, that's a great shot by Jadeja. He's gone over the top. And I think that'll be six. Carl uh, Liedenberg is just asking the fielder out there what it was. Now, was that four or six? I'm not entirely sure, but the fielder himself knows. My eye seemed to indicate it was probably... Yes, it was! And just listen to the roar! Benjamin Bowles to Jadija. It's in the air, and as that, I think he's gone. It's been very well caught there by Richardson. So the second wicket has fallen. Jadeja is out. Caught Richardson, bowled Winston Benjamin. Jadeja naturally disappointed uh, because he's done all the hard work. But once again, this end is showing that the ball is stopping. And what a marvellous catch there by uh, Richie Richardson, the skipper. The ball stopping and coming, Jaradeja checking his shot and not able to keep the ball down. India 81 for 2. Oh, that's four. Extraordinary shot by Mohammed Azaruddin. It was the slower ball from Cummings and it's been slogged over extra cover. What a shot! Slow wide this was going to be, and a very slow wide whack. Well, he's got a bullseye, and I think as it and is in fact out. He side-footed it onto the stumps, and umpire uh, Liebenberg at square leg put his finger up very quickly. Vino Cam Campbell run out for the second time in Calcutta this week. is furious with himself, but the West Indies smiles say it all. Well, earlier on in the 
innings when Ambrose was not able to do anything with his feet while trying to stop the ball. The West Indians were not very happy about it, but now they're absolutely delighted at his footwork. Kambli is back, run out for 68 and India 161 for three. Let's go. Cummins to Azaruddin. Oh, he's gone, he's gone, Azaruddin got the nick on that, Jimmy Adams went low to his right and held a very good catch. And this j c could just be the start of a little bit of trouble for India. Well, this is always a dangerous shot to play, when it's so close to you. The nuts to third man is a productive shot if it is away from you, but this is so close that it allows the wicket keeper to get to the ball. That's exactly what has happened here. Azaruddin trying to steer the ball, which was very close to him, manages only to nudge it to the wicket keeper. India have lost their fourth wicket for 161. Another appeal by Cummins. This time Adams was interested, but all the same, it was not what I would call a, a full-throated appeal. Well, the West Indians applying the pressure, and the ball perhaps uh, going down the leg side because Cummins bowling from wide of the wicket. And really, and Tendoko is now gone. So it's Amre, in fact. Um, Amre LBW to Cummins trying to turn that one through mid wicket. So that is yet another wicket, and this Indian innings. Five minutes ago, they were in an immensely strong position, and now they've got real problems. Well, it's a bit too early to be playing across the line. This is exactly what's, what Amre has done. This time the ball was much closer to the stumps, and hit him very low, almost just above the ankle. Not much of a doubt in umpire Leibniz's mind, and India have lost their fifth wicket for 161. Turned away by Kapil Dev. That's going to be four. The crowd begins to find its voice again. And Winston Benjamin there was trying to uh, get the over eight up. He bowled that off about three or four paces only. He didn't bowl off this full run up. He just came here a couple of paces and it gave him an easy full toss to hit through the leg side. Full toss. I don't think anybody saw that, but it's zipped away for four. Well, this is great cricket, isn't it? You've got a, a world-class fast bowler, Kirtley Ambridge, bowling at one of the most dangerous batsmen in one-day cricket, Capel Dev. You see, that's an improvised shot from a sort of low Yorker full toss. He just chipped it around, knew where the fielder was, He's a very dangerous player in one day cricket, particularly. Kapil Dev is back on strike. Big appeal by Adams. I shouldn't think the umpire heard it, to be honest with you. He's not interested anyway. He gives it as a leg by. Well, I thought this was a much better shout than the one Amri was out to. Get him right up there, probably just missing. Michael Dev now 37. And he's got 24 of 27 deliveries in this excellent little knock so far. He's on strike now as Cummings comes into bowl. And he's caught him at mid-wicket. Kappel has gone. Carl Hooper has held an excellent catch at mid-wicket. And has that disturbance worked to the West Indies' favour? Well, good catch in the end by Carl Hooper. He was on the 30-metre circle, and Kapildev was trying to clear him. So he added it quite well to get over the top. I think he hit it well. He just get it, didn't get quite enough height on it. Nice catch. Excellent catch. That's the end of Kapildev. Here it comes once more. And just look, he uh, had to go a long way to his left. Well taken catch by Carl Hooper and Kapil Dev departs for 24 and India are now 207 for 6 with 4 balls of this over to go and then another 2 overs after that. Uh, 
Oh, that's a great shot by Tendulkar. Races away for four. Full toss from Ambrose. He was striving for the Yorker again. Last ball of Ambrose's spell. Bowled him! Yet has gone. And Kirtley Ambrose ends with two wickets. Well, Yadav only seems to have one shot. That's to back away to leg and try and hit the fast ball as squared on the offside. It's much easier to hit it straight, this Yorker. Try and hit it towards mid-off, mid-on and take a single. So, with six balls to go, India are 218 for seven. So, Tendulkar is on strike with two balls to go. That's right, Anil, two to go. 2.20 for 7. Can this little genius really produce the grandstand finish? Well, I think they'll, still think they'll be pretty pleased, 2.20. Certainly not going to be more than about 2.25. Last ball of the Indian innings. Kumble on strike. And he sliced that away, magnificently for four. Yes, Winston Benjamin saved his worst ball to the last ball of the innings. Five good ones, one bad one, it got smashed away. So that's a really good effort by Anil Kumble. Sachin Tendulkar has ended up 28, not out. And India will be pretty happy with life here at Eden Gardens because they have got themselves up to 225 for seven. And here is Prabhakar Talara. And the West Indies are soon off the mark. Raju, the newcomer, fielding there at mid-off. Prabhakar's in to Simmons. The bowling! It pulled him, that one came back a long way. The middle stump is out of the ground and just listen to the crowd. Well, I told you Prabhaka was swinging it the first few balls. This was an absolute peach of a delivery. It just zipped in very quick, caught Simmons on the back foot and the ball just snaked in quick and low. Watch how low it keeps, but watch the swing. One for one. Oh well that's the most emphatic stroke. Played beautifully off his pads. He's so strong there. Four runs all the way. And hardly a murmur from the crowd. Well this is a dismissive shot isn't it? Just bang. Four runs to Lara. This is a shot that he plays so well, he just whips it away. Bowled him! Tendulkar's done it again! He got that one right, okay? Oh, easy as pie, says Mohamed Azharuddin. Well, the off stump he had to attack. The moment he bowled on the off stump, he had Lara playing right across the line. Lara aware that the fielder on the leg side in the, was in the circle. He was trying to work everything to be onside. Because that's the unprotected area. And there you see a big gap. And Kendulkar knocked his off stump back. That's the second West Indian wicket gone. 57 for 2. Another big shout! Everybody applauding for this one! But again, Carl Liedenberg is cool under fire and says not out. Well, Richardson is stretching quite a way down the wicket. Going right forward. And this one was just a wee bit outside the off stump. Just a wee bit. Very good decision there by the umpire.
Well, that's the best way to do it, isn't it, Charles? Don't depend on the umpires at all. Do it all by yourself. Don't depend on any other fielder. Throw the ball, and when the fielder, when the batsman hits it to you, catch it. It was a really good catch by Kapil Dev, this one. It came back pretty solidly at him. He was off balance, and it was low. Injured back or not, he clung on to it. And now, Richie Richardson leaves the scene with the West Indies, 57 for three. Well, you say it's amazing, but I keep on saying 15 minutes in a one-day game, and everything can change. Now India feel on top, but if these two batsmen could get in... Well, that's running way down to the boundary for Keith Alberton. And Andre Jadadja, a little clumsy in the end, but four to Alberton. Oh, the Lord Chinese Union, that we don't know. It's goodbye, Alberton. LBW Kapil Day. And surely that must have been a major, major blow for the West Indies. Well, I think that was a good shout from Kapil Dev. I think it caught Keith Arthurton on the move. And I think it drifted back into him. You watch it, he gets close to the stumps. It's pitching about middle. And it's going back into him. And I think that's out. Look at that, the smoke and the smog making it a very surreal atmosphere, 63 for 4. Mm, that was a very good one indeed. And there's a bail on the floor and the Indians are saying that he is out. Umpire Carl Liebenberg is not at the moment sure what happened. He's putting the bales back on again. And now is going to consult his partner, who is saying he didn't see what happened. Let's have a look again. Yes, it bowled him, it definitely bowled him. So, we are going to have the excitement now with the reserve umpire looking, and I don't think there can be any doubt at all about that. And the green light is on, and Holder is out. This is the first time uh, a decision other than a run out has been uh, inquired for by the umpires out in the middle and uh, Roland Holder is out, bowled by Kumble. I think you have much more drama when you have the light system but I think it's better to have communication between the umpires on the field and the umpire, third umpire in the television replay booth. So maybe a combination of both would help because you get the drama of the lights but you need the umpires to be able to talk to each other. disputing that straight to Azaruddin in the covers and in the celebrations Daniel Kumble has hurt himself but Adams is out well he's just a wide half volley he's well pitched up wide he's trying to whack it through the covers but he did a nice comfortable catching night that's a simple catch. 113 for six. Kumble to continue from the pavilion end. Big appeal. Give it him! Umpire Robinson thought very long and very hard. But finally he made his mind up. And Carl Hooper has gone. Well, that's an un-Hooper-like shot. He is a very orthodox player, is Carl Hooper, a very fine touch player. And this is desperation stakes. Really, just cross back. You can see the line it's taking. 
Again, same as Keith Arthurton, the only way he could be given that out is because he's forward. But you could see the line it was going to hit. West End is now in deep, deep trouble at 118 for seven. Oh dear, it's bowled him, it's bowled him. So there is the eighth wicket. Winston Benjamin is out. And Kumble has now taken his fourth wicket. And he's taken uh, his fourth wicket with what is his rocket ball. The ball rocketing off the pitch. This flipper of his probably as quick as when Chandra bowled his quicker one. Look, it's gone through him even before he could bring the bat down. Winston Benjamin had very little clue as to what to do with that delivery. He's bowled Kumble for three. West Indies 122 for eight. And he's gone, he's gone. That was very much a, a tail end frog. Ambrose wasn't going to hang around. Kumble has got his fifth wicket. And now India are just one way to get away from winning the Hero Cup. Yes, it was a typical tail end of shot. The West Indies need more than 100 runs and in only a little over 11 overs, Ambrose decided not to hang about there and waste everybody's time. He's had a go at it. Bold second ball for a duck. This is Kumble's fifth wicket and the West Indies are 122 for nine. Well, it's Kumble starting his seventh over. And it's bowled him, it's bowled him, and it's all over. Cummins is out, two stumps are on the ground, and Kumble has taken his sixth wicket. The West Indies all out for 123. India have won the Hero Cup by 102 runs. And doesn't Kumble's face tell the story? It's been a triumph for India. They've outplayed the West Indies. They've had a bit of luck. They've run their luck. And they are the hero champions. But now Averudin goes up to receive the Hero Cup. The splendid trophy made in Jaipur, which is the jewellery capital of India. And it's being presented to him by Mr. Jayoti Basu, the Chief Minister, Chief Minister of Bengal. It's a lovely trophy. And Averudin, modest to a point as always, looks a happy man. Here come the West Indies, Richie Richardson to collect the runners-up award also from the Chief Minister of Bengal. <laughs> Mohammed Azaruddin goes forward again, this time to receive the award for the man of the series. He's been easily the highest run scorer. He's averaged somewhere around the 80s. He's been wonderfully consistent. He's led from the front. He's been an inspiration to his side, and there can be no more deserved choice as man of the series. One spinner gives it to another, and quite rightly so too. Kumble's figures, I'll give them to you again, 6.1 overs, two maidens, 6 for 12. Yes, 6 for 12. A wonderful performance by him, and the best figures ever by an Indian in a one-day international. So there we are, the prize giving is over. India have won the Hero Cup. They've beaten the West Indies by 102 runs. Azaruddin, the man of the series. Kumble, the man of the match. It's been a wonderful competition.